Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making chicken Florentine, one of my favorite weeknight dinners. You will love those tender, juicy pieces of chicken sauteed in a creamy wine sauce and topped with spinach. And the best part is you'll get dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes. So the first thing you wanna do is start with two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, but we are going to want to cut these in half. The best way to do that is to start on the thicker side of the chicken breast and slice all the way down to the thinner side. That just will give you a little bit more control. All right, let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. The next thing you wanna do is pound your chicken cutlet thinly, and that will help just for it to all cook at the same rate and tenderize it a bit. So you can use a piece of wax paper, piece of parchment paper, uh, and then you're just going to give it a good whack. The other secret to tender juicy chicken is to salt it before you cook it. So preferably overnight, so you can get this done the day before, the night before you plan to serve it. Even the minimum of an hour, even 20 minutes will make a difference. Then when it comes time to cook your chicken, you're gonna to wanna to put a quarter cup of all-purpose flour on a plate like this, because we are going to dredge the chicken in this mixture. And then to add a little flavor, we're going to add about three quarters of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning and some freshly cracked pepper. You can just whisk that all up. And the flour is going to help protect the chicken when we saute it, which will also make it really nice and tender and juicy. If you've ever like sauteed chicken breast and it gets like kind of hard and scorched and then it sort of loses the tenderness, <laughs> the flour will help with that. To saute your chicken, you wanna use a nonstick pan, add about a tablespoon of olive oil in the pan. And then we're also going to add a little bit of butter just for flavor. I love the combination of the oil and the butter for something like this because the oil gives you that high smoke point so you can get it at a high temperature, but the butter gives you the flavor. So if we did this all in butter, it would burn pretty quickly <laughs> at a high temperature, which would not be a good look. So we're gonna stick with this. Once the butter and oil starts to look like this and it starts to get nice and sizzly, then you can add the chicken. You may need to do this in batches just to give the chicken room to brown. If you put all the chicken in there, it'll just crowd and it won't get a nice color on it. So just be patient. <laughs> now at this stage, we're not looking to have the chicken cooked all the way through. We're gonna do that in a later stage. It's really more about getting the color on it and then we're gonna put it off to a separate plate and let it rest while we create the sauce. Then you can add a little bit more oil in your pan because now we are gonna saute up our shallots. So I have one whole shallot that I've minced here. And once they look nice and browned and caramelized and you start to get that wonderful fragrance, you can add a half a cup of dry white wine. There. And then we want the wine to reduce down by at least a third. And if you don't drink alcohol, that's okay. You can actually swap it out for more chicken broth. So we're also going to be adding a cup and a half of chicken broth. I would just increase that to probably two cups of chicken broth. And then you also wanna add at this stage a clove of minced garlic. Now this is the important part. <laughs> to thicken this sauce, you wanna bring it up to a boil because that's the only way that our cornstarch is going to activate, our cornstarch slurry. And a cornstarch slurry is just one tablespoon of very cold water and one tablespoon of cornstarch and then you can add it to the simmering liquid and you'll see it'll start to thicken up. I usually don't add the whole thing right away because depending on how hot this sauce is, it can really thicken up pretty quickly. So just kind of do it to your liking. My husband, who's French, really loves a thick sauce. I don't really like that thick of a sauce. I like somewhere in between. So we compromise and I add a little bit of heavy cream and Parmesan cheese to the sauce as well, which does make it a little bit creamier. So he thinks it's thicker than it is. <laughs> now, this is the perfect time to add our chicken back in because we need to let that cook all the way through. So in it goes. And just give it like three to four minutes. You don't want to overcook it, but I would give it like three to four minutes just to let that chicken cook through. This does look good. Okay, and then at this point, we're going to add just a little bit of heavy cream. This is really to taste. You could do a tablespoon, two tablespoons, all the way up to about a quarter cup. And you can just put it in there. And this is why I love the mini whisk. <laughs> the mini whisk has so many little uh, benefits to it. <laughs> but you can just kind of get in there and whisk it all together. I usually don't put the heavy cream in with the sauce and then cook the chicken because sometimes it just gets too thick that way and I just don't wanna kinda overcook the cream. So I do it this way, but if you wanted to add it with the sauce, I guess you could. Another thing I like to add is a little Parmesan cheese. You can put that on top. 
Then we're going to add two cups of spinach. This is another thing that makes this dinner so quick and easy because you can just use the pre-washed greens, grab like two big fistfuls, and that's it. And you really want to wait to the last minute to add the spinach, so do make sure your chicken is cooked um, because you don't want it too wilted. You still want it a nice, pretty, bright green when you go to serve it. All right, so you're going to add that on top and see, watch how easy this is. Then you just put the top on and wait until it wilts. So this is a great dinner idea if you're looking for like chicken sauce and a vegetable, it's all right here in one pot. <laughs> and then once the spinach is wilted, you can place the chicken on a platter. And this recipe would pair beautifully with my smashed potatoes or my mashed potato recipes. And luckily both of them are in one video. You can click right here and I'll see you over there.